guys welcome and welcome back as you may know Halloween is coming up very soon and like I said in a previous video Halloween is one of my absolute favorite holidays that's kind of shown by the random redecoration for Halloween in my little corner here but today I want to do something kind of fun I always see on Etsy people selling bearded dragon wings and I think that they're the coolest thing and I never end up ordering them I was at Walmart the other day and I decided that I wanted to just try to make her some. So I scoured the internet for how to do this and I found a really amazing tutorial by Curtis Lassane showing how to make bearded dragon wings out of just foam and elastic and they turned out really cool. So I want to try to do it myself. I'm going to do two different designs and I'm also going to make her a little witch's hat too just because I kind of went on a craft shopping spree and got all this stuff but it was all super cheap. I think I spent under $10 for everything everything. So that worked out amazing. And the first step of this is just to go online and find a wing pattern that you like or if you want to draw your own you can do that too. But I have two patterns here. This one I doodled all over because I was trying to see how I wanted to do it. And then we're also going to do this one too. So I actually used a different camera to film all the up close stuff of me making these wings and I realized as I was editing that it's not in the best focus. So I thought instead of just doing a straight voiceover like I was originally going to do, I would just kind of be here hanging out with you guys in the corner. So that way there's something in focus on the screen. Yeah, that way you don't have to just stare at an out of focus shot the entire time if you don't want to. So the first thing you actually want to do is you want to pick two sheets of the foam in whatever base color you want your wings to be and you're going to trace whatever stencil that you got onto that foam. I went ahead and cut those stencils out and kind of put them up to Zaz to make sure that the wing size would be okay before I did all of this work and they were too big or too small. And if you're going to paint these you're going to want to flip that stencil over. I didn't do that on this first set because I didn't think about it I guess and I ended up having to go ahead ahead and cut one of those out because the wings obviously have to go opposite directions and I had to put construction paper under it and I got paint all over me so just make sure you flip that wing over if you're going to paint it because you are going to paint it before you cut it out. So the original tutorial for this just uses the straight foam sheets which you can do if you want to. I just wanted to give mine a little more depth. Like I said I originally got my inspiration from this off of Etsy and on Etsy they're of course done very in-depth and detailed because they're selling them. So I wanted to kind of do something more like that and in order to do that I just found some acrylic paint that I had around my house just cheap acrylic paint and I painted on the styrofoam just to kind of give those wings a little more depth and I just ended up using a darker red than what the foam was and black to give those wings some dimension. I kind of just tried to paint where I would think shadows and stuff would go if that would makes any sense because there is going to be like a skeletal layer on top of this so I kind of tried to darken around where that would go. Also I made sure that my paintbrush was really dry for this. Usually when you use acrylics you make sure that the paintbrush is nice and wet so that everything can blend together but I wanted it to kind of look more blotchy and old and decrepit so I would put a little paint on there and I would just kind of blotch it and drag it and just try to make it look old and not neat. <laughs> And then once you get it all painted you can cut it out because I used a really dry paintbrush it took two seconds for it to actually dry. And then here I'm just going back and adding more black to those crevice areas. And at this point I am going around the bottoms of the wings with an X-Acto knife. My X-Acto knife is very 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 dull so it was actually kind of perfect because I wanted the bottom to look kind of jaggedy because I wanted them to be more like dragon wings, demon wings and I didn't want them to be perfect. And so I wanted to cut a little bit off of the bottoms and just make them look jaggedy. And then I also kind of added some little holes and tearing and tattering a little farther up on the wings as well. So I decided that I wanted my secondary color to be black for that skeletal boning section at the top layer of those wings. And I just kind of painted more black on top of it just to give it a little more depth just so it wasn't just straight foam black texture so it kind of blended with the rest of it. And I only needed one piece of black foam for this. The original tutorial also has you cut that top layer that's going to be like the skeletal bones of the wings at just a straight line but I did go ahead and cut mine at a curve just to make it more curved but I thought it looked really good with the curves instead of just going straight across because I also lined the very top with that black too 
and not just through the wings. In the original tutorial he says that it's best to use glue sticks and that's what I used. I just used a cheap Elmer's glue stick and it worked pretty great because it does take a second to draw so you, I was able to pick pieces up and move them around and get them situated and go back and trim it. And this part does take a second lining up all those pieces and getting them all glued on and moved to where they look good. And then you're just going to cut little squares for the corners of those wings uh, just to give it a little more reinforcement and to make it to where when the dragons walk they're gonna flap and you just glue that on with a glue stick as well and then I just went through and added that last strip of black to the inside corners of the wings so then you're gonna go and hole punch that black square that you just added and then you're gonna just glue those two pieces together make sure the holes are all lined up in the tutorial that I watched he suggested putting a staple through it to hold it so you don't have to wait for it to dry and that's exactly what I did and then you just take a piece of elastic I got mine at Walmart it came in a pack of three different sizes for a dollar and you just kind of measure what you think looks good to fit around it's gonna go around your dragon's arms around here and tie it in a knot make sure to tie it really tight and then you just thread it through the wings and it will make two little loops for the little armholes and I was actually really happy with how these turned out but I did want to go ahead and make a second pair just because I bought all the supplies and I was curious as to what a different pattern would look like so I gave her some more girly fairy type wings as well so I'm just tracing that pattern cutting those out on this one I remembered to flip the second one as for colors I did blue and if you see the blue and red there it's because I attempted to make purple and it made a purple-ish color that was okay enough and I honestly don't know what I'm painting here guys I just kind of throw in blotches of paint everywhere and again I'm using a super dry brush because I don't want to paint over the whole thing I still want that foam color to come through it I just want it to look blotchy and give it some dimension I attempted to paint the top layer of this to make it a darker blue and it ended up being way too dark so after I had cut everything out which if you see here I just used the same pattern and I went over it and then I attempted to use the exacto knife to cut through the pieces because it's kind of a bigger skeletal pattern and my exacto knife was too dull and so I ended up having to just use scissors so I just traced the wings and use scissors to cut the pieces out of the stencil and then trace that onto it and then with the scissors cut out the actual foam pieces of wings and it was too dark so I just flipped them over and just put another layer of just straight blue trying to do the black and blue and I think it turned out a lot better that way and then I just glued that stencil on top I didn't actually cut out a square for that joint area because it was already two layers at that point so I just went ahead and hole punched them and glued the two sides together and kind of folded the wings out a little bit and these don't flap as good as the dragon wings and I definitely like the dragon wings better than these fairy wings but there are two options there and then really quickly I saw an adorable picture of a bearded dragon wearing a Santa hat on Facebook and I wanted to make my bearded dragon a hat too I think that I've previously seen also a bearded dragon wearing a witchy hat a lot like this one but I wanted to make one of those really quick I just did a little party hat template and just kind of put it up to the felt this is all felt and hot glue in this one cut that out really quick cut out a bunch of little very lopsided stars and circles I used a piece of black pipe cleaner to go around the bottom rim of the hat just to make sure that it was going to keep its shape hot glued all that on there and then once all that was together I just put a stripe of hot glue down the side and folded those two pieces together I went ahead and balled up another piece of that pipe cleaner and stuck it on the top as like a little I don't know thing on top of the hat I hot glued a piece of elastic to the inside make sure that it is big enough to go around their face because you don't want it to choke your dragon that was about it for that that was super simple it took like 10 minutes and these are the finished products with Zaz wearing them. My absolute favorite is this first one, the dragon wings. I think they are absolutely adorable and I just think they look really cool and Halloween-y. Yeah, they're definitely my favorite. These are the fairy wings. They're a little too big. These are super cute. If I would do it again, I would definitely make them smaller. And this is her little hat. She absolutely hated the hat. She was okay with both of the pairs of little wings. But the hat, she just kind of looked at me and she was not pleased. Please don't leave it on there for too long. We don't want to stress out our animals over looking cute. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was a really fun, easy, crafty thing to do. If you want to put wings on your bearded dragon or make your bearded dragon a little costume, I would definitely suggest doing it this way because it was so easy and it really didn't take too, too long. I think 
each set took about an hour but that's also because I painted mine and did all the little cutouts if I just did it straight by the tutorial it probably would have taken about 30 minutes super easy and quick and super cute I'll be posting more pictures of Zaz wearing those wings and that hat looking super adorable over on my Instagram you can follow me over there if you're not already at l.622 where I post pictures of my animals throughout the week I wanted to give a quick shout out to Cameron underscore Londoner for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. Thank you so much, Cameron. You are the bee's knees. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every single Sunday. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.